Hey yo, what's up you guys? Your boy Huggy be back with another one for Yo Mmm Yo Did y'all see the Lakers versus Jazz game last night? Shit was fucking lit. I mean everybody from everywhere was in LA. Now Kobe Bryant put up 60 points his last game of the fucking season, the last game of forever. Now, it was a bittersweet moment because Kobe been in the game for 20 years. For That's a very long time. I remember when this dude first came into the game when that was like, what, 1996? Maybe 95, I think? Now, it's bittersweet for the simple reason that everybody's hurt. Even fans that's not Laker fans are hurt. They like, no, Kobe, why? Why, Kobe, why? Why? <sighs> but, you know, I, I, was, I was glad to see him play his last game. And this is the most crazy trending topic because it's Kobe. He's gone. What are you going to do now? You know? What are you going to do now? Are you going to become an announcer? Like most of them do, like how Shaq is still in there. And, but, you know, it was lit because, like, I'm going to just say, like, my homeboy Trey Maddox said, he thought, he said it's, it's a charity game, which is not a fucking charity game, bro. It's not a charity game. Uh, that is basically all the time because they always be passing the ball to Kobe even before he wasn't retiring. So, that's all the damn time. All the fucking time. So, it's not a charity game. Do we all remember the time when he scored 80, 81 points? Um, I'm hurt. I'm hearing it was against the Toronto Raptors. I can't remember who, but that's a lot of fucking points. Like, seriously, that is a lot of points. Like, for real, a lot of fucking points. For one person, especially being so young. But... It was bittersweet, though. I mean, everybody was there. Snoop Dogg, Jay-Z, Lil Dicky, Jack Nicholson, just like, but that's all, all the other time. And upon other people that wasn't even mentioned was there. So other than that, the boy, Kobe Bryant, I salute you, man. You will be missed. Hopefully you will be coming back as at least a coach or something or an announcer or a commentator like how they do. It was dope. It was, it was history in the making. But... On the other hand, on the other channel, on CNN Bay Area, the Warriors set history too. They shut it down against the Grizzlies. I fucked the Warriors. They did the damn thing. Yo, shit was dope. They broke the 95-96 Bulls record, 73 wins, and they are definitely going to going to the playoffs this year. That's, that's that's pretty fucking dope. I think so. That's that's what's up, you know. But all in all, Kobe, you know, we we we've been through your hardships. We've been there from your injuries. We've been there from your uh, uh, false accusations on the rape that fucking faulty and salty bitch, whoever the fuck her name was, said to try to lie because you wouldn't fuck. So yeah, your wife is still there. You know, you can watch your kids grow. You can sit there and watch the playoffs from the comfort of your lazy boy or whatever fuck you got. Like I said, once again, Kobe Bryant, I salute you, man. 60 points, man. You did the damn thing. Oh, on top of that, your team gave you a win before you left. How come they couldn't do that, you know, beforehand? Start winning through the fucking thing. You know, maybe you would have been in the playoffs if they had a fucking, fucking step they should have, but... That was something else that had me tripping too. Magic Johnson, when he was doing his speech, right? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to it right now. He basically put down all the other players on the fucking team, and like he he had the microphone. He like, yeah, there will never, never, ever be another Laker like Kobe Bryant. Nobody will ever amount to his playing abilities. And I can just imagine how all the other players was feeling like this fucking big. Like, damn, okay. Uh, yeah, thanks, Magic. I, I appreciate the, all the confidence, man. You know, 
And I, I feel like I got to go out here to the gyms and be out here practicing for like 10, 15 hours straight just to feel like I can amount to cope. But anyways, oh yeah, and also the very end of the speech, how boss was that shit? He said what he had to say, and he said, what else can I say? Mamba out, and sets the mic down and calmly walks away. That shit was boss. I thought he was going to drop it, because shit was dope. Shit was boss. Straight boss all the way through. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, uh, also, uh, just figure out how to do gameplays. Um, look out for my gameplays. You know, I just dropped two videos yesterday. Me just testing it out, fucking around, having fun. So, look out for those. I'll try to get those to you ASAP as much as I can, all right? So, love, peace, Afro Breeze. It's your boy, Huggy B, a.k.a. The Hip Hop Nerd. Y'all be good. Good vibes, be good to each other. All right. Peace.